Jerry Mitchell here with the Institute for Military Technology. I have Mr. Reed Knight here, and he's going to show us another firearm that I didn't know existed. And so he's going to go right into explaining it to you guys. What you're going to see here, I've never seen before, and I thought I was a gun guy. So once again, he stumped me really hard. So if you would, Mr. Knight, show us what you have here, please. Well, Jerry, um, first of all, thank you for thank you for coming down. And uh, my pleasure. This yep. is a this is an interesting gun. Um, as Springfield Armory kind of announced to everybody that they wanted to have a semi-automatic rifle. So different companies were building different types of semi-automatics and this particular one actually is a dual gun. It actually has a bolt just like you would have a bolt action okay. rifle that actually lifts up and you operate it like a bolt action rifle or you fire it by changing the selector and basically then it functions semi-automatically. So the, okay. the gun um, loads of, of, of rounds in the, in the, in the bottom of the, of, the bo of the box magazine and ejects the cartridges out the top. And as you can see, when, when, this, comes, when this thing comes back, it, you can see the magazine follower right. okay. inside there. And you can see, so when you lock that, it's a bolt action gun. And when you put it down and un unlock it, then it basically becomes a, a so semi automatic. This is a standard 30 out 6 service cartridge? 30 out 6 service cartridge. Full yes. caliber yep. mm -hmm. semi automatic. It is. And you can okay. see the quality, you know, the quality of the gun is, is very high. And you can see that, uh, you know, that it, it's, it has, a, it has a, a pretty much a military look to so it. So, what year was with this? Uh, platform this gun was actually tested at Springfield Army around 1910. 1910. So it was actually in some of the tests. The standard arms happened to be one of them that was tested in that time frame. What's really amazing with, with, these, with these guns that we see here, being from a machinist background, when you look at the fit and finish, there's not a tool mark on here. No. And the bluing and the, and the woodwork, even though it was an experimental model, there was a lot of pride take, taken into what they were doing. So if you look at this, guys, it's just... Uh, it's just the epitome of blued steel and walnut. And when you, <laughs> yeah. when you work these guns, they just feel correct for the time. It's just uh, like a classic automobile. Nice. Very, very interesting, uh, very interesting gun. We have a few more to show you. Stay tuned, guys. We've got some good stuff coming.